I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about shaving. Specifically a little bit about the history and a quick how-to. So, first I'd like to dismiss the movie trope. You've seen the movie trope where the guy in the wilderness gets out his bowie knife and shaves with it. Um, or Pitch Black where Riddick takes a shank and shaves his head with it. That is pretty much a movie trope. Uh, those knives are those knives are almost impossible to get that sharp. You can do it. It does take time. There are videos on YouTube of people sharpening knives to that point and shaving with them. How they get them that sharp, I have an idea. It's probably not a true razor sharp. On a true razor sharp, the edge of the blade is so sharp that when held like this, you should be able to hold a hair a half an inch above it and let go. When it's falling and it hits the blade, should split in two. That's how you test if something's really razor sharp. This is referred to as a cutthroat or a straight razor. Straight razors were invented in about 1640. They have been around forever. Um, shaving actually predates that. In ancient Egypt, it was considered hygienic to shave your entire body, and they had razors, nothing like this, that they removed all of their body hair. They also did waxing and sugaring. Now, one of the reasons for that is that Egypt's a desert, and out in the desert you got sand fleas, and if you've got any hair, sand fleas will get into you, and it's best if you just remove it all. That's the actual reasoning behind it. So, this was 1640. Around 1901, Gillette invented the safety razor, and that's this. This type safety razor is pretty easy to use, and I'll tell you right now, this blade that comes with it is garbage. Um, just throw it away. It's not actually sharp. To put a blade in this, you twist the bottom, the top opens up. You take a double-edged razor blade, drop it right over that bar, right there, and then twist the bottom to close it, and the blade is in place. Modern razors, and I completely forgot to actually bring one with me, are referred to as cartridge razors. They were invented in the 1960s. Those are the ones where you get the little package of cartridges, and you snap it in and pull the cartridge out and shave with it, and when the blade gets dull, you throw the blade away and snap the next cartridge in. Those razors, with all of their modern improvements, it's pretty much impossible to cut yourself with. You can easily cut yourself with one of these safety razors. So there's a method to shaving with it, which I'm going to demonstrate shortly. The big difference between a cartridge razor and a safety razor like this one, aside from the fact that they've been made in such a way that you can't cut yourself with a cartridge razor, is that when you go to buy cartridges for a cartridge razor, you'll spend $25, $30 for five cartridges. That's a lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. You get one of these, and you will spend, if you want the high-end blades, you'll spend $5 for five blades. If you're okay with ordering them from some place like China, you can get a hundred blades for $10. So a dime a blade. It can be really cheap to shave with one of these razors. Now I will tell you that I did a little research. I know men have been shaving with these for a hundred years. Women on the other hand, and ladies if you're watching this, there are women that shave with this razor. And I don't mean just their legs. They shave everything with that razor. How they do it is beyond me because you ain't getting this razor anywhere near that part of me. I'd end up sliced and diced and look like I went through a Ginsu. So, we're going to get this party started. The first thing we need to shave with a safety razor is some hot water. And I happen to have some hot water that I heated up on the stove here. So we're going to go ahead and put this into the bowl. So you usually want to let your brush soak in hot water for a few minutes. And it's okay to toss the whole thing in there. So we're gonna get out the bar of Grandpa's Old Fashioned Shaving Soap. 
And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Ooh, smells good. And put this into the shaving soap dish. Now I did not bring a big mirror with me, so I'm gonna be doing this with a little mirror. It's on the razor box, okay. So we're gonna shake a lot of the water out of this, most of it actually. We're gonna put this on the soap and we're gonna go in a circle. You can always add more water. So as you do this in a circle, you will see it start to create a foam. Just a little bit more water. There we go. And this will foam up really nice. Now you're going to go ahead and go ahead and take this foam. and put it on your beard, anywhere you got stubble. And you're now ready to shave. We're gonna go ahead and set this down, this razor down in the hot water as well because it helps. And I'm gonna use this to angle this mirror just a little bit. Now, when you shave with one of these razors, you make short, straight cuts. You attach, you pull down an inch. and then you lift it straight off your face. I'm holding the razor at about a 30 degree angle. Short one to two inch strokes, that's it. Do not go sideways with this razor. Always lift it off of your face before you move the razor to a different angle. For the most part, that's it. Take your towel. Wipe your face off, you're clean shaven. Rinse out your brush. You can rinse out your bowl with soap in it. Now the first time you shave with soap, it'll move around in the bowl. Just a little bit. That soap will soften and adhere to the bottom of the bowl. So from that point on, it doesn't come out of the bowl. It stays pretty well set. You'll also note that with safety razors, there's a wider gap between the blade and the base bar. Um, that wider gap means it's much easier to rinse the hair out. Those, these blades tend to last much longer than cartridge razor blades. Now, I actually bought two of these, just so everybody knows. One for me, one for the giveaway. No, I'm not gonna send you one that I just shaved with. I have also found that with these type razors, you only end up shaving about once every other day, or at least I end up shaving about once every other day. For some reason, they tend to cut closer and give a better shave. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or leave a comment. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And if you're not a subscriber, why don't you pick one of these videos over here?
take a look at them. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would, leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought.